As the Morgan State basketball team sat in the stands during yesterday's Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference quarterfinal between Coppin State and Norfolk State, newspapers were being handed out to Joel Coliseum spectators. The paper's front page headline read, Morgan has lost its mojo. Yeah, I saw the newspaper. All I could do was shake my head. I mean, you know what I mean? I can't understand nobody believing me right now. We lost three straight. Morgan State avenged one of those losses with last night's 77-59 win over fifth-seeded North Carolina A&T. The Bears advanced to tonight's semifinal game against the tournament's top seed, Bethune Cookman. The MEAC MVP last year, Kevin Thompson this year was the league's preseason player of the year. Injuries led to an up-and-down season, but against the Aggies, Thompson scored 20 points in the first half. He finished the game with 24 points and 10 rebounds. 9 for 10 from the field, 6 for 6 from the free throw. I mean, the free throws, I was big. I was big. The, the free throws was big because he hadn't been shooting the ball well from the free throw line. I think he's a little salty about being second team. Um, but rightfully so, I mean, you, you have to earn that. So, uh, But that doesn't mean he can't be salty about it. So you know, it's up to him to continue to, to uh, make his point. Morgan's dominant performance made for a jubilant post-game locker room. Listen. First. Listen, good job, fellas. Good job, okay? That's a, that's a way to, to, to finish it out. Good job for first rest, first round, okay? That's one. Okay, now the team to beat is Bethune. Okay? <laughs> Baltimore's other team, the Coppin State Eagles, suffered a tough 55-53 loss to Norfolk State in the final seconds in their quarterfinal game. The question now is whether legendary coach Ron Fang Mitchell, who is in the final year of his contract, will be back at Coppin next season. Well, what I do is I go home and continue to do my job. And like I say, whatever happens at this point in time happens. But all I know is what I've done in life. And if, if I'm measured by what I've done in life, then I would be all right. But you know, we're, we're dealing with today's, today's people. And today's people is supposedly what have you done for me lately. Okay, but uh, in this situation, it's just uh, confusing to me. Fang is, I have a tremendous amount of respect for him, so uh, I hope they uh, do right by him, you know, and, and the best thing happens for uh, him, and, you know, and for the program. Incredible. You know, everything he's done, got to the um, tournament, um, you know, won some games in the tournament, and man is a legend. He made everybody strong. Now, I know when I was here, when I first got here as a freshman, I wasn't how I am now. He taught me a lot of things to be strong, to be confident, and that's just what he does. He's made me a man. He's made me so much different than when I first got here. After shaping the lives of young men at Coppin for more than two decades, Mitchell now returns home for what might be his final days on the West Baltimore campus. And when you're looking at the fact of uh, um, Coppin being the one that uh, maybe wants to not have the relationship, then how upset can I be? All right, because you can't give any more than what I've given. All I know is I have been given and given and given. So, decision is in the hands of people above me. I'm Jerry Bembry, reporting from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, for 88.1 WYPR.